Good morning, y'all. Welcome to another vlog. It's 7 a.m. and I'm getting ready to go exercise again this morning. I woke up and I have a huge pimple coming up on my chin, which is really weird. I usually don't get any acne and I'm already past the point of my hormonal acne right here. So that's great. Right before my big vacation, I have two giant pimples on my face. Wonderful. I might have to like go get some kind of spot treatment and try to like dry them out or something. But anyway, it's like 7 a.m. I got up a little bit later than I wanted to. I wanted to go walk from 6 to 7 this morning, but it looks like it's going to be from like 7 to 8. So I'm going to go walk for an hour in the park. Since I filmed it yesterday, I'm not going to do a huge production today, but I'll give you a little bit of footage just to show you um, how beautiful it is outside where I am. Oh, and one more thing. I am trying out this CeraVe 30 SPF face sheer tint moisturizer that I bought yesterday. Um, I like it because it's sheer tint so it doesn't make your face all white. And when it comes out, it actually looks like liquid foundation, but it goes on really light. It doesn't feel greasy. And I thought I would try it out this morning since I'm going to be outside. The sun shouldn't be too bright at 7 a.m., but still, it's a good time for me to try it out, especially when I'm going to be sweaty and stuff. So I'll let you guys know how it holds up. So far, I really like it, the way it feels on my face. Now that I'm in the car, I can see like how dewy that uh, sunscreen makes my face look. I think on a lot of the days when I'm on vacation, when we're just gonna be spending the days at the beach, I'll probably just wear this and nothing else. Oh God, this pimple though is huge. Oh my God, y'all, I gotta do something about that. I had to stop the car in the middle of the road so I could show you guys how freaking beautiful this mountain road is that I'm about to drive down at seven o'clock in the morning. Oh my God. Hopefully you can see through my disgusting, dirty windows. I need to wash my car too. I'm gonna do that soon. All right, y'all, I am at the park and I'm going for my morning walk. It's gonna be about 50 minutes around. And there is some kind of like team of joggers or something over here making a lot of noise. I'm gonna try to ignore that and have a nice walk this morning. I'm pretty sure those are like some high school boys that are on like a cross country team or something. They're all like running up the mount mountain and cheering each other on. So it was kind of cute, but I'm past them now and just gonna walk under the trees before it gets too hot, y'all. <laughs> all right, I just finished my walk, y'all. It was definitely not as hot this morning as it was yesterday morning because I'm not as drenched in sweat as I was yesterday. So that's a plus. I'm gonna drink some of my electrolyte water. And I think I was a little bit earlier today than I was yesterday too. But either way, it was a much nicer walk than yesterday's. So I'm headed back home now. Um, I walked for about 45, 50 minutes. I didn't really time it. That's how long it takes to go twice around. I don't know. Um, but I'm going to go back home now and start on my day. So let's go. I'm back home, back in my kitchen, and I'm about to make some coffee because, God, I need it. I don't know if I want to start making my coffee before I go on a walk. Probably not because I need to get out there as soon as possible before the oppressive heat sets in. So as soon as I walked into my apartment, I was instantly freezing because I live in a meat locker and I keep it 68 degrees in here at all times. And I was like, I had, still had sweat on me and stuff, so I was just instantly cold. So I had to put my house sweater on to warm up and now I'm gonna make coffee. I also want breakfast, but I realized when I came in that my kitchen is trashed right now. I didn't get the dishes done last night. I was so tired after doing my live stream and filming and editing and uploading a vlog yesterday. A really long vlog too. Um, I was just so tired after all that. I said, fuck it, I'll just do the dishes today. But now I have no dishes to cook breakfast. So I think I'm just gonna go down and get a little breakfast from McDonald's. I have a whole bunch of points in the McDonald's app. I can probably get something for free or just like a couple of dollars. And I, I'll just have that and that way I can have my energy to start uh, working on my housework because today is deep cleaning day. I'm just gonna pour my coffee in here. Coffee is what I need, coffee is what I crave. All right y'all, I got the coffee brewing here. Just gotta wait. I have a super slow coffee machine, so I've gotta wait for it to brew. Starting tomorrow, my boyfriend is gonna be off work for vacation for 11 days, and we're pretty much gonna spend all of that time together. I think it's so sweet that he wants to spend his vacation time with me, and of course I wanna spend it with him. We're leaving Monday to go on the beach trip, but of course we're also gonna spend this weekend together. So I'm thinking about cooking dinner for him tonight. I need to find out if he wants to go out to dinner tonight or if he wants me to cook for him. If he wants me to cook for him, I think I'm gonna make the Asian beef and broccoli, like the paleo dish that I used to make a lot long time ago when I first started my uh, weight loss journey. So let me get back to you on that. I always order on the McDonald's app when I order from McDonald's and as you can see I am getting double points on breakfast foods and you get um, 100 points for every one dollar and then you can redeem all of your points if you don't know 
how this works. You can redeem your points in the app. I have 11,545 points right now. So they always have these deals in the app that you can get. Like um, they always have a $1.50 breakfast sandwich, which I use that one a lot. Um, but 29 cent double cheeseburger, four for five, 20% off your order, $1.19 fries, whatever. And then you can use your points, like for 6,000 points, you can get bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit for free. So if you're not using the McDonald's app and you eat at McDonald's regularly, make sure you do it, man. You can save a lot of money by doing this. So I decided to order the sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit with the $1.50 breakfast sandwich deal without the biscuit and then I also got a sausage and egg McMuffin for $3.99 without the McMuffin so the whole order is $5.50 and I get um, two breakfast sandwiches with no bread so that's what I'm gonna have for breakfast today waiting at the curbside pickup for my McDonald's order it has arrived and now I'm going home to eat it okay I'm back home and about to have my breakfast here is what it looks like. Wow, they always layer it differently. This time they put the cheese on top of the egg, which is okay, cool with me, I guess. And then here's the egg McMuffin. I don't know what's going on with that, y'all. There's egg, cheese, and sausage in there though. So that's what I'm gonna have for breakfast. All right, coffee's ready, y'all. So now it's time for coffee and journaling. It usually takes me anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes to complete my journaling, just depending on how much time I spend thinking and how much time I spend writing. But it's just become a habit for me and something that I really love to do every single day. And I forgot to measure my cream again, damn it. Today is Thursday, August 24th. The color of the day is turquoise. The moon is in Cancer. Actually, the moon entered Sagittarius at 4.07 a.m. It's waxing, and the incense of the day is myrrh. I know I have myrrh. And as always, if you want to know where I get this information from, it's Llewellyn's Magical Almanac. Um, this is the 2023 version. I get one every year. It gives me the color of the day, incense of the day, and all of the moon information. It also has a lot more information in it about what's going on um, astrologically during the year. It has spells. It has so many cool things. I highly recommend this if you are into witchcraft. Um, it really helps me connect with my daily energy. And there's a link to this down in the description box below if you're interested. So I keep all my incense in this beautiful box that looks like a large book and it has the goddess and the triple moon symbol on top. A subscriber gave this to me back um, during Vlogmas and I love it so much. It's where I store all my many, many incenses that I use for incense of the day. Most of my incense I get from a company called Gia's Traditions. Well, it's a person. Her, I believe her name is Gia. The name of the company is Gia's Traditions on Etsy. I will link to it down below. And she has all kinds of different incenses. Some are very, you know, hard to find. And then another company that I use... I can't think of the name of it. I'll put it on the screen right now, but they have even more rare incenses like this cypress right here that I got from them. All right, I got my myrrh incense out, so let's burn some myrrh today. So I like to burn incense of the day uh, first thing in the morning while I'm journaling. Well, I guess not first thing anymore since I'm going walking first thing now. Um, I used to journal first thing. So uh, I like to burn it while I'm journaling. And then I will also burn several of these throughout the house throughout the day just to kind of infuse my living space with the energy of the day and purify my space as well. I like stick incenses because they're easy to use and burn, but I also do like using like resin incenses and I'm gonna be doing more of that in the future, including making our own incense blends is something I really wanna get into. Right now I'm gonna burn this myrrh and do my journaling and I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Okay y'all, it's about 10 a.m. now. I'm finally done with all my morning routine stuff. I have exercised, had my coffee, my journaling, my breakfast, taking the dogs out, all of that. And now I'm ready to get started on the house. I wanna deep clean today because my boyfriend is coming over this afternoon and we're probably gonna be spending the entire weekend and next week together. So I wanna get all of the deep cleaning tasks out of the way. Plus just the normal cleanup because my house is pretty much trashed right now. I did not do dishes yesterday. So I've got a sink full of dishes. I've got clean dishes to put away. I've got stuff from my live stream when we made shampoo. I've got to clean the air fryer. Like all this has to be cleaned up right now. Okay, I'm almost done with the dishes. I'm gonna have to hand wash this last pan that I used to make my shampoo in yesterday. Um, but once I'm done with the dishes, I just have to clean the air fryer, which I guess is part of the dishes. Ugh, I hate it. Ugh, ugh, ugh. I'm also, as I'm going through and cleaning everything, I'm making a list of everything that I need to pack for my trip. Because if I don't, I know I'm going to forget something. And 
This is gonna be a long trip and we're gonna be staying in a cabin. So I'm gonna need lots of supplies, y'all. Lots of supplies. And you know I have to bring like 49 pairs of underwear and 50 dresses. I, need, I basically have to bring all of my clothing on vacation with me. Um, just to make sure I have options because who knows what the circumstances are going to be. Like, we're not going to be on the beach the whole time, you know. We're going to be uh, going into town and going out to dinner and doing different things. So, um, I can't just pack swimsuits. Which, by the way, I need to order a new swimsuit. Ah! Alright, now time to clean out the air fryer. I've got all the dishes done. So, I know there is a such thing as air fryer liners that you can put in your air fryer to make cleaning it easier. I have used those. And they don't work very well. And maybe I just didn't get very good ones. I don't know. But honestly, it, it just it hasn't worked out well for me. I might try to use aluminum foil in the future. Tell me what you do to make cleaning your air fryer easier in the comments down below. Because as much as I like cooking for myself, and this is pretty much the only appliance I use to cook for myself anymore, cleaning it is a huge pain in the ass. And sometimes I will let it sit longer than I probably should because I just don't want to freaking clean it. You know what I mean? Um, my oven does not work. People are always asking me why I don't bake this or that. My oven doesn't work. That's why. Uh, I can broil in it, but I cannot bake in it. And I never really did anything about it because like I don't use it. I don't use the oven. So I never even told my landlord that it doesn't work. I could probably get it fixed. I just don't care enough, honestly. Oh my God, y'all. Am I the only one who cannot do dishes without getting myself soaked in water? I don't, I don't know. I think it's impossible to do dishes without getting water all over your shirt. Let me know, okay, if you can do it. Um, so dishes are done, including the stupid air fryer is clean. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, I know you've been on the edge of your seat beside yourself waiting on this quality content, we're about to clean the counters. So of course I'm going to use my homemade Lemon Blast kitchen cleaner. I started to say kitchen cleaner. Kitchen cleaner and these uh, counters are really a mess because I made shampoo and then I use the air fryer and there's crap everywhere. There's like seasonings and herbs all over it. So I'm just gonna spray it down really good with my cleaner. And this cleaner smells so good too. It does smell faintly of vinegar, but that, that actually doesn't bother me to me. Vinegar smells like clean. It smells like cleanliness because that's what my mom used to clean with. She always made her own cleaners with vinegar and so that's what I do too and it just smells like clean to me. So I really like it. And yeah, I'm just like wiping everything into the floor because I'm gonna do the floors after um, I finish cleaning all the counters and everything. Also have to take out the trash which is overflowing, old pizza boxes. And a lot more. A lot more needs to be done around here. I honestly have no idea what time my boyfriend is going to come over, so I'm just going to get as much cleaning done as I possibly can. And when he tells me he's on his way over, um, then I'm going to get in the shower. Okay, now we're moving over to this side, so my little coffee area. This is also where I feed the dogs, so there's like a couple little pieces of dog food stuck to the counter, which is really fucking gross, I know. But um, what I do is if I have a spot that doesn't easily come up, then I will take a paper towel and I will soak it in a little bit of the cleaner. Like I'm just gonna rip a half a paper towel in half again, and I'm gonna soak this down with my cleaner. And then I'm gonna sit it on top of that like hard piece of food or whatever won't come off the counter and let it sit there for a few minutes and that will soften it and then it will wipe right up. So there's a little tip if you didn't know that. That might be common knowledge, I don't know. And then I have some prescription bottles over here, over here prescriptions that I am not taking. I weaned off of my Wellbutrin, I'm no longer taking that. I'm still having sweating issues. So it's making me think that the sweating might be due to my birth control and I need to look into that because I'm still sweating excessively even though I've been off of the Wellbutrin for like a week completely now. Um, so I don't know if it's still in my system or if it's something else causing it. And then the minoxidil, I filled the prescription, but I never took it because I read several comments of people saying that they knew people who took uh, oral minoxidil and then they grew like a coarse beard or something. So it makes hair grow everywhere and I am trying to not have a beard. So I decided not to take the minoxidil and just to keep taking the spironolactone instead and getting my laser hair removal. And that seems to be working pretty well for me, but of course it's gonna take a couple months before I see how it impacts um, my hair growth on my head. And also I'm gonna have to increase the dose because I take 50 milligrams and that's just not enough. You need to take at least, I think it's 150 milligrams or maybe more for it to actually really work. Um, but you have to like build up to that. So right now I'm on 50. When I finish my first bottle of 50, I'll go up to 100 and then we'll just go from there. But I'll let you guys know how that's working for my hair growth. 
um, as far as my scalp hair. So I'm gonna put these away somewhere safe. There's no point in storing them over here anymore. Okay, now I'm gonna move over to the other side of the counters and I need to, I'm gonna keep this spray bottle out because I'm gonna make some homemade glass cleaner here in a few minutes. So I'll do that on the vlog. I'm gonna put my freezer bags away somewhere in a drawer. And now the counters are clean and ready to be wiped down, y'all. So I've got my bottles of whiskey over here. Um, my boyfriend's favorite whiskey is Basil Hayden Dark Rye, so I bought him a bottle as a gift. And we still have some of that left. And then Johnny Walker Red is one of my favorite scotches. So uh, we just have that. And I don't really have anywhere to put it because the bottles are too big to fit in my cabinet, so I just keep them out here. Now moving on to the stove. Let me be your cleaning inspiration today, guys. If you need to clean your house, get up and clean with me. Put me on in the background and let's get this done. Um, I cannot stand having a messy house or a dirty house. I know you can't tell because I feel like my house is always a mess, but I don't like it. And um, I feel like I'm constantly cleaning and I'm the only one who lives here. So what the hell? <laughs> I'm just messy, I guess. And then finally, I'm gonna clean over here uh, by the microwave and then all my counters will be clean. And I know how much you love watching me clean counters, y'all, I know it. You tell me every day, you tell me all the time, Cindy, please clean your counters more on the vlog. We cannot get enough of it. So there you go, my loves. Okay, y'all, I just remembered that I have to do laundry because I definitely, I'm gonna need my swimsuit clean for this weekend. And then I'll have to do laundry again before we leave on our trip Monday. But um, I just wanna get the clothes washed that I need washed right now. Oh my God, there's sand everywhere in here from when we went to the sand beach. See, that's why I don't like sand beaches, damn it. Oh, there's gonna be sand all in my uh, laundry basket. I'm gonna take it outside and like wash it out or something. Shake it out. So I'm just gonna do a small load of clothes right now. And then once those are done, I want to wash the bedding because I haven't washed it in like, I think it's been over a week. Put my laundry detergent in and let's start the washer. So this is probably a medium sized load from what we want it on cold, permanent press. And I'm just gonna do a regular, oops, gotta go around again. Regular wash, there we go. Okay, next up I gotta take out trash. So the trash can, as you can see, is overflowing. It is full. I'm gonna take this trash out and also the old pizza box from the fridge out to the garbage can and replace the bag. So here we go, let's stop by the refrigerator, grab the pizza box and head to the door. Cleaning transitions are the best. Okay, going outside. Oh, it's hot. Feels like it's about 110 degrees out there. It's miserable. I couldn't stay out there for longer than five minutes, damn. Replacing the trash bag and we're pretty much done in the kitchen besides the floors which I always do last, so I'm gonna move on to the next room now. Moving on to the dining room, my dining room table is quite a mess. I've got jeans drying on the back of chairs. I've got mail and packages and all kinds of crap I need to clean up, so I'm gonna do that first. I'm gonna start by putting away my jeans. I will be taking my jeans with me on vacation because the place that we're going on vacation, the weather is so much nicer. We are going up north, okay? And the weather is so much nicer, the highs are like, 70s and 80s so it's gonna be wonderful for frolicking naked on the beach i'm gonna bring like all kinds of different clothes because the temperature is gonna fluctuate a lot so i'm gonna bring jeans shorts dresses everything i'm gonna pack so much luggage we're barely gonna be able to fit it all in the car The dining room 
is pretty much clean now. Um, the only thing I have is this stuff over in the corner. I'm gonna take the cardboard boxes out to the dumpster. I still need to get rid of my old DB though. It's just gonna have to sit here for another week until we get back and then I'm gonna take it to a recycling center. And now we're gonna take a quick break from cleaning because one of the packages that was sitting on my uh, table is from Disturbia. I ordered a dress and a skirt like two weeks ago and I haven't tried them on yet. And I wanna try them on now to see if I'm gonna be able to take them on vacation with me or if I need to start a return because I bought these in size eight and my last Disturbia dresses I bought in size 10. So let's see if these fit. Y'all, holy shit, look at this dress. Oh my God. This is the only black dress that I own really that's like solid black. And look how good it looks. And this is in a size eight. And the name of this dress is the Antoinette Button Jacquard Floral Mini Dress is what it's called. And I'll show it to you. I'll show you the detail up close in a second, but just kind of look at how it's cut. It's so gorgeous. I love it and the material feels so good and light. Definitely bringing this on vacation and I might even wear this this weekend if we go out on a date. But here is, hopefully you can see the detail. It's got like a floral detail on the dress, on the fabric. And it's got three buttons and then it's kind of got like a baby doll cut. Y'all, I'm in love with this dress. It looks so good. I fucking love Disturbia. I think I'm gonna buy all of my clothes there in the future, except for like things I can't get like jeans and, and, and basics. But like as far as like dresses and skirts, I'm even try some of their shirts too in the fall. Okay, y'all, yes, I'm in my bra, but you know what? It's no different from wearing a bikini top, okay? This is a plaid skirt that has these little straps on the side. It fits me perfectly. It's in size eight from Disturbia. I shop at their US store so it is a US size 8 the dress too look how freaking cute this looks and look how cute this would look I feel like I would wear this with fishnets docks and a band t-shirt I freaking love it I might I'm definitely taking this on vacation and might also wear it this weekend as well all right y'all here it is with my wind hand shirt um, I really love it with this because the wind hand shirt has purple in it and the skirt has purple in it I don't know if you can tell but I think this would look super cute with fishnets and docks and then maybe I could tuck in the shirt I think this would also look good. It's gonna fuck up the shirt graphic if I do that though. But anyway, uh, maybe I'll just wear it with a black t-shirt, we'll see. Um, but like, I kinda wanna tuck it in so you can still see the straps on the side. <sighs> I love it so much. And the name of this skirt, the Rebel A-Line Mini Skirt from Disturbia. And I believe I bought this on clearance, so it may not even be available anymore. But if it is, I will link to both of these down in the description box. Super happy with both of those purchases. And now I know for sure I wear a size eight US in Disturbia. So um, next time I order something, I don't have to worry so much about sizing. Ooh, my pimples are popping out, aren't they? I have no makeup on today. <laughs> don't wanna do that until later on after I finish cleaning. All right, now I've got to fold up my towels out of the dryer. So, oh my God, these aren't even dry. Damn it. I started to fall. I thought this one felt a little damp, but some of these aren't even dry. Okay, I gotta dry these again. My dryer sucks. I usually have to run it one and a half times to get clothes dry. So we're just gonna do another 20 minutes on those towels. I've gotta get my clothes dry so I can wash the bedding and it's already almost 1 p.m. But it's no big deal if I don't have the bedding done. Like by the time he gets here, I can still do chores when he's here. I just like to have everything done. Um, Cause I don't know what we're gonna do tonight. But anyway, I'm gonna move on to the living room now. Once again, my suitcase is still on the floor from my last trip to Oklahoma. Got several pairs of underwear in there I need to take in the bedroom and put away. We are full of transitions today. Okay, I'm just gonna place this on the bed. <laughs> I see that my camera is like crooked like this, so sorry about the crooked angle. And put my undies away. My belt might need that. And then I'm gonna put my suitcase back where it belongs for now. Honestly, I will probably use all three of my suitcases on vacation or at least two. I'll at least use two, but we're gonna be gone for a week. I'll probably bring the two biggest ones. I don't know. We'll see how much shit I'm gonna pack. Now I've gotta pick up all my stickers off the floor from my live stream yesterday. Morty wants some loving. More more, do you want some loving, buddy? I just took them for a walk, uh, for their afternoon walk. But I've gotta do something with all of my stickers. Some of this is trash. I think I need to start like a sticker bag to keep all my stickers that I haven't stuck yet. 
you know? Okay, so for right now, I'm just gonna put all my stickers in my herb cabinet right here on the shelf so I know where they are. And oh my God, there is my other stack right there. I was looking for these yesterday because these are ones that I picked out that I wanted to put on the herb cabinet, like my favorite ones. So we're gonna have to do that in the next live stream or video or something, because I want to put, I will definitely want to stick these on. You missed yesterday's live stream. Um, we made a lot of progress on the herb cabinet. There are some stickers that I stuck, and then we've got a little snail village down here. Okay, so I need to finish cleaning up the living room, and it's just a bunch of like tidying up and just moving things into the places where they go. So enjoy this montage of me doing just that. oil soap and then vacuum pretty happy with my progress so far but i gotta go work on the laundry now okay hopefully the towels are dry now okay they feel pretty dry i think they could probably go a few more minutes but they feel dry enough so i am gonna fold up the towels out of the dryer now i did a whole load last night and put them okay they are still not dry damn it i put them in for 20 more minutes this dryer sucks y'all okay Put them in for another 20 minutes, I guess. While that's drying again, I'm gonna go and clean the tables in the living room. Okay, just gonna use my Murphy's oil soap because I have not really properly cleaned this table since my nieces were here. And man, if you know anything about little kids, they can get surfaces pretty grubby really fast. And also I'm gonna light these candles uh, in here, give it a nice ambiance and a nice smell. And I'm gonna burn some more incense too here in a little bit. I wanna burn it throughout the house. So I do have this pile of laundry in the hallway that needs to be put away and gone through, but I'm saving that to the very last if I have time. Right now I wanna go work on my bedroom while I'm waiting on the towels to dry. Well, I don't really wanna make the bed because I'm gonna be uh, washing the bedding. So I'm just gonna strip the bed and put everything aside ready to be washed. And then I just need to straighten up my night tables, put away a few clothes, and I'll be done with the bedroom. Besides washing the bedding, of course. Um, but I can do that, like, I can do that through the night. It doesn't matter too much. I just wanted to get the basics done in here. And uh, then I just have to clean the bathrooms and do the floors, and I'll be done. And then I can start getting myself ready for the weekend slash evening. But anyway, I'm running out of room on my memory card because I've been filming a lot today. So I'm going to do the things you've seen me do a million times before. Strip the bed, clean the bedroom, do the floors and the bathrooms. And then I'm going to get myself ready and I'll see you guys back here in a little bit to let you know what I'm going to wear tonight. Hello, it's been several hours. I got the apartment completely cleaned up. I got my makeup and hair done and now I've got to find out what I'm going to wear tonight. My boyfriend is on his way over here. He'll be here in about 25 minutes. So I have just enough time to get dressed and get my Myself completely ready. I'm not sure what we're gonna do tonight, so I'm not sure how I want to dress. I'm not gonna go too fancy, but also not too casual just in case. I really kind of want to wear the plaid skirt. Let's see. All right, y'all, this is the outfit. So the skirt did not look good with my wind hand shirt because of the way the graphic is on the tee, but it looks really good with my last podcast shirt. Check it out. Last podcast on the left, I was able to tuck it in and still um, see the whole graphic. I love it. I love this skirt. I wish it was a little bit shorter, um, but because I am so short, it does go down almost to my knees, but I still think it looks pretty freaking cute um, with my docks too. Okay, y'all, on second thought, I think it looks better with the shirt untucked. Even though you can't really see like the little straps on the side, I still think it looks cuter, especially when I sit down. I think it looks cuter with the shirt untucked. Yeah, I think it looks better untucked. Let me know what you think in the comments if you think it looks better tucked or untucked. But I think I'm gonna go with untucked tonight. 
I'm also, I did like a smoky eye, like a gray and black smoky eye, and I'm wearing my pentagram necklace, and this is going to be my outfit for tonight. I feel like a little bit unsure about it, but you know what? I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to see how it goes. I couldn't do my brows. I couldn't do anything to my brows because I have an appointment tomorrow to get my brows waxed, so I couldn't pluck them in or, or anything. I hope they don't look too bad. Um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Don't forget to join the channel if you want to join me for members-only live streams click the little join button down below or there's a link in the description box and uh, I love you all and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye!